episode 14. I'm going to call this one Cain. So Cain's father was the king of the north. The genetics that was borrowed from that generation were shapeshifters. She altered and changed their bodies so much that they were shapeshifters. But was genetics borrowed? That evil that lied within that that king of the north and its people and the alteration of its bodies that they did to become those people. So their time was done. And they said, Sir, bring that cape and the ring and bring it over to this place, please. Takes the, his ship, goes and flies over, sees this naked black man on the ground. Just absolutely hates color. Only because he hates himself. That's the only reason. He doesn't, not because he's any better or just hated himself. So within that king of the north, that head of Christ, that Brother Branham in Tucson, there's that being. If you look, it's a, it's a wimpy looking man. Almost looks like that character from The Simpsons. Mr. Burns, and you notice that it has like this weird shaped head and behind it, it looks like these horns almost. That's his horns that it would put on. But whoever it's visiting at the time, it's, they understand his deception. And you'll notice that it doesn't have any wings. This head was showing you this king, Lucifer, that's within that king of the north that I'm talking about. The genetics and its role that it plays. So within this king was a genetics of uh, shape-shifting. They altered and were able to use abilities from nature. And they did that with other species and animals. And they just had a lot of fun changing and altering and just Free will. No one allowed them. No one said no. So it was like, go ahead, have fun. Right? For a time. So within this Adam, he started creating and eventually started asking for a mate. And then he, he's like, well, we don't want you to have a mate yet. He's just like, well, what about a bro? We're just like, well, sure. And that's when they brought in that, that king. And he says, we want you to shift into the white version of Adam. He said, okay. And he did. He went there and then they had fun and they were just there. And he wanted to be close to that gift because he, he missed it. Because that was the gift that that king had. But it was no longer his. And so he would just pretend to be a friend and just be awesome and be able to be that bro, right? Pretend to, but never ever once. Unfortunately, not being able to love because it was not in that genetics, that murder and hate. And it's just like it was in that being king of the north for a reason. Because that was the source of evil, right? In your timepiece, it talks about this, it's like, evil could not be created, right? So it was this thing. That's what the purpose was since it was born. It was to be evil. It's pride. It's horrible, but it got a lot of perks, right? Over the long time playing this game. So within this time, Falls in love with this character, and then it leaves. He says, I gotta go, right? Once it knew that this Adam was in love, it left. It had power, love. Once you have that, it's power. 
So eventually this Adam started yearning for a, a mate, of course, which is what was supposed to happen. People always think it's like, oh, humans always think they have power over their lives, but it's like, no. If you look in that one scene there where the Pharaoh, they hardened his heart, they hardened his heart. It's just like, that's kind of like a hint to, to a human saying, it's like, you don't have power over yourself, really. It's just like you're part of a, something bigger. And it's just like, you serve a purpose. So anyway, so this Adam started yearning for a mate, right? A friend. And all of a sudden it was just like, well, give us a rip. He was like, well, create his friend that he asked for. So this Adam was expecting what he fell in love with. And then they come back with the female version of it instead. So they took its parts and then it was like, okay, reproductive, da da da, what we get angry. And its whole point is just to fucking ensure that that man does not succeed. And that's the character that Lucifer will play. So that very first woman, that head that shows that man there sitting on the throne there and looking with that big weird head and those fake hordes. That was the very first woman that was inside that woman, that thing. And it's designed to go and ensure that that Adam failed. But he didn't know what to do with her. So of course they went to bring in that character in the garden to go with teacher and but they needed that genetics inside that woman. It's like, okay good. And so, because he knew what that king was going to do, because he was just so predictable. It was just like a cue, because he also wanted to live as well. Because it's a game that they played with these, these humans. So, as they are fucking this, this woman, right? This very first woman, Eve. So imagine that being able to fuck Marilyn Monroe. That's what does Eve look like. She was made to be a whore, not to be a, a mother. And so now that they had that genetics, they got rid of that people, Sodom and Gomorrah. It's like, God, Jews, that race. But they did not get rid of the, all of them. It was like, save yourself. Right? Because he still had pity on those, that king and people. It was, they needed them for a different time. And this time in 2024, that X, is like, that's the time those people that were hidden for a season, they're able to come out. And they like to eat humans. They have a heckling for humans. And so these 1%, they've told them, by 2024, we need the human race to enjoy eating flesh of their brother. So these people in the cities, you're set up to fail right now and you're going to enjoy eating the flesh of your brother, which is unfortunate because it's like all that food that you yearn for and all that meat, it's like, once everything just shuts down, it's like, what do you have? Your brother. And so these brown faces that are with these white faces, it's like this, this hate that lives within, the law is the only thing that stops them from killing you. Without that law, it's just say you're going to get hurt. And so there is definitely a way for you to get away from that. Like people living in New York is just like, oh. if people see the writing on a wall and you wait generation, you see that writing on a wall. Get out of there before Kane hurts you. <laughs>